Thanks very much. Uh, time now is 6.40. And around this time every Saturday, as you know, Mike Bushell shares his latest sporting challenge. And this week's has to be perhaps one of the strangest yet. You're familiar with this one, Ollie? Goat, goat yoga? Does oh, it mean anything right. to you? I'm bracing myself. <laughs> oh, you would be forgiven for thinking. On the face of it, goats and yoga have not much in common. Mike, I, though, I genuinely thought this was goats doing yoga, by the way. <laughs> well, d d who knows? Who knows what Mike has discovered? Let's see. This is all about broadening your horizons. There are so many new ways to practice yoga these days. For example, on a paddleboard on an estuary in Devon. But the class here have also been introduced to an even stranger form down on the farm. We all know how good yoga is for you, spiritually and also for the body. But in Devon, they now like to do things a little bit differently. Hence, we're in a barn of straw. They want to bring out the animal in us. I don't know if they're, they're kidding. Connecting with the earth, finding... Teacher Donna McChaney has over 70 animal names for her class's yoga positions. But this summer, she's been combining animal bonding with yoga moves by introducing pygmy goats to her classes. We're combining the, all the amazing benefits of, of a standard yoga practice along with the benefits of, of, of animal therapy too. There's research to prove that um, animal therapy, when you're with, with animals and you're stroking an animal, that it helps to reduce the cortisol within the body, so the stress response within the body and it also helps to increase the cuddle chemicals that's the oxytocin and the dopamine chemicals happy hormones <laughs> this does focus the mind on other things so you're still trying to do the yoga poses but you're concentrating on bonding with our furry friends here they, they seem to love it there's no evidence and it's not being suggested that the goats enhance the physical benefits of yoga in any way when they're treading on your back they're certainly not trained masseurs but they do bring laughter to a session. <laughs> they quite like to nibble on my hair. I think it's the blonde hair that does it. Maybe it looks like straw, but... <laughs> I'm not sure it helps a great deal, but it's good for the concentration because you have to work really hard not to, uh, not to fall over while they're doing it. <laughs> Strangely very relaxing. When the hooves go into you, it's quite therapeutic, a bit like using a massage ball. It's funny, um, and funny makes you happy. I've done laughing yoga before, but you have to sort of force yourself to laugh, whereas here, it's just hysterical. Goat yoga was first started in America by a farmer who claimed the goats helped her feel better through an autoimmune illness. And the consensus here was that the goats were beneficial and will be invited back every week. It's brilliant because goats actually just love uh, people. It's like wacky, it's great fun. Um, it could be doing Pilates, it could be doing uh, press ups, whatever. Well, we end up with the, the sleeping dog pose when the goats are naturally attracted to us to come and sleep on us as well, maybe. And I've never known a... Mm, you're gorgeous. I've never known a, a yoga class be so interactive. Normally you, you zone out and go into your own world, but this has been very interactive. Mike Bushell, the BBC News in Devon. As ever, Mike manages to discover a, a kind of a sport you didn't know quite existed. That that's what you call sweet. it. Sweet. Laughter makes you happy. Uh, let's see. Time now is.